Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to unbox the April card kit by Simon Says Dump. So we are going to take a look on what's included and then I'm going to share some cards to inspire you. Let's start with my favorite product from this kit. This is uh, the Rainwood Planter die. It's really good size so it makes a really good focal point. I'm going to use this die today. And you can also get it separately if you don't want to grab the whole kit. The stamp set this month is a 6x8 large stamp set. It's uh, called Hello Darling and you can also get it separately. You get some pots, uh, stems and flowers that you can mix and match. You also get three borders, a bike as well as lots of sentiments. Now let's take a look at the papers. This time there are 12 double-sided papers. They are by Simple Stories and they are big ones, not the regular 6x6. These are 6x8 in lovely spring colors, as you can see. Some of them are great just to frame them and place them on your craft room, like this one for example. But you also get lots of patterns as well as two papers that you can cut out and create your card fronts with those. And here is the other side in similar colors and patterns. For everything that is included in this kit, I'm going to add the links as a kit but also separately down below in case you just want to grab something and not the whole thing. So from the same collection as the papers, you will also get two pages of stickers. These are nice thick stickers that uh, make great elements. And uh, finally, you will also get four envelopes in those four coordinating colors. This is a C6 foam adhesive. You can uh, stick something on top and die cut it so that you will end up with uh, something puffy. It cuts out beautifully through uh, any die cutting machine. You'll also get a 6x6 craft cardstock, a mini Nouveau Vintage Drop in uh, Bohemian Teal, lovely color, and this is the vintage one which means that it's not shiny at all. And finally you also get cardstock in four colors. And based on what you get in the kit, I'm going to make a card focusing on the die, another one using stickers, one more using just pattern paper, and finally one with stamping. So for my first card, I'm going to work with the die. I'm using my Sizzix machine and I'm going to cut out the die twice with uh, white cardstock and I will be using my markers later on to color everything. Now this die not only cuts out the shape, but it also adds some embossed lines. And if you look at the cutout piece in real life, you will be able to tell where uh, those two boots separate from each other. There is a definite line there. Now, because I want to create a dimensional element, I'm going to use my scissors and separate the boots from the flowers. So, I'm going to do that only on one of the cutouts that I have created. So, you can see here I have only those boots and if I place them on top of the other cutout, I can have something dimensional. And I'm going to do the same thing with the tulips, so I'm just going to separate them from the stems and I will be using those as well to pop them on my final piece. To color everything I'm using my Artist Markers by Altenew. Of course you can use pattern paper and cut out all the pieces and then put everything together. It's up to you. For my boots I went with three shades of yellow and from the lightest to the darkest you can see the numbers that I used on your screen right now. Now with my markers I'm trying to add some shading so that you can easily separate one boot from the other. But there is another way to do it without any effort on coloring at all. For that all you have to do is to die cut the boots one more time and with your scissors separate the first boot, the one that you see in front. Then use some foam tape at the back and stick it on top of the other piece and you will end up having an instant shadow since you have dimension. Now I am happy with how my boots are looking and I will uh, start coloring all the stems and the leaves. For that I'm using again my Alta New Artist Markers and you can see which colors I'm using on your screen right now. I'm doing a very quick coloring by just using two markers, adding the shadow at the base of the leaves and the stem and going lighter towards the top. Since I'm planning to do some paper piecing with foam tape at the back, I don't want to see any white areas underneath my popped up pieces, so I'm just going all around the border to color everything. And finally I use two shades of pink to color the tulips. 
And again I'm using the darkest of my pinks to add some uh, color at the base so that you won't be able to see any white areas popping underneath my popped pieces. Now I'm going to add some uh, foam squares at the back of my boots as well as at the back of all the tulips and then do some paper piecing. And again remember that you can go even more dimensional than that by separating the boot at the front and stick it on top. So you will end up with a lovely dimensional uh, element which makes a great focal point for your card and with such a pretty element you don't really need to do a lot in front of your card. So I am keeping everything simple, I'm just going to stamp the sentiment. This comes from the stamp set included in the kit. And I'm going to glue my element on top. Now for my card base I went with the pink from the cardstock in the kit. So the panel, the white panel that I have here is slightly smaller than the standard card. So I will end up with a pink border that matches perfectly my tulips. Finally I used my Nouveau shimmer pen to add some shine on the tulips. And my card is ready. Here are some close up photos where you can see better all the dimension that I got from just a single die. For my second card I'm going to focus on using stickers. So I used the pattern paper that looks like good and there are many of those in the kit. I used this one actually to cut out thin strips of wooden pattern paper. And I'm going to chop one of them in half and this is going to be a shelf. I find that using stickers on your cards don't really make them cheap, depends on how you're going to put them together. And um, I'm going for a very clean and simple looking card now. I used foam tape at the back of those two strips and now I'm going to pick up stickers and stick them down. Now I'm not going to stick them directly on top, these are nice and thick stickers. So with a foam square at the back they're going to make great pop-up elements. And I'm going to use all the stickers that have plants inside the pot. And just because these stickers come from one collection, you can see that everything matches perfectly in terms of uh, color combos. So I'm going to stick the last one here. And then for the sentiment again, I'm going to go with uh, the sticker phrases that are here, since I'm focusing only on stickers for this card. So I picked up one that says live a little, love a lot and another one that says enjoy today and I'm just going to stick them along the shelves. To finish off my card I'm also going to stick three of the sticker hearts and uh, I'm not pressing uh, too hard when I am laying those hearts down so I can play around a little bit and decide exactly where I want everything to go. And you will see that I'm going to change the pink with um, the green one so that I don't have two greens close to each other. For my card base I created a 45 by 55 standard card out of the brown cardstock that was in the kit that matches perfectly with the wooden pieces on top of my card. And here are some close-up photos. No stamping at all, just stickers for this card. For the next card I'm focusing only on pattern paper, so I'm going to cut out a rectangle making sure that I don't chop off any part of the sentiment. This will fit on top of a standard card but I had to sacrifice that little bird at the bottom where you can see his yellow tail. So I'm going to do some paper piecing to cover up this part. So I'm going to use uh, this pattern paper and cut out a few flowers and I'm also going to use the leftover from the first pattern paper to cut out the leaves and now I can put everything together making sure that I'm going to cover up that yellow tail and at the same time I'm adding more interest on my card as well as dimension. Finally I'm going to finish off my card by adding some pearlescent nouveau drops at the center of those pink flowers and here are some close-up photos on a card that I made just by using the pattern paper included in the kit. For the last card I'm going to use stamps to create my card and uh, I have cut out a banner but if you don't have such a die you can just easily create that fishtail either with your scissors or with your paper trimmer. So I'm stamping my sentiment using two shades of yellow, a lighter one 
and now I have inked up only the two bottom lines with a darker shade so that I end up with an ombre looking sentiment. The inks that I used are Sunray and Chamomile from the new oval set by Alte New and uh, you will find everything linked down below. Now I'm going to stamp my planter and I used the biggest one from the set. I am using Caramel Toffee Alte New ink for that and I'm also going to stamp it a second time by inking only the base so I end up with a little bit of shading there. Now I'm going to stamp the stems and because I don't want them to go over the planter I am using some masking tape there and I'm stamping three stems using fresh leaf. And then I can remove the masking tape so you can see the finished result. Now I'm going to stamp three of those flowers. There are many in different sizes and shapes in the stamp set. And I used baby pink Altenew for that. And this is where I decided that I wanted to add two more stems and instead of flowers at the top I'm going to add two little hearts. Now there are three or four different sizes of hearts as well and I picked the smallest one. I'm going to stamp two hearts and just fit them in between and then I'm going to stamp a stem underneath. And for the hearts I used Fuchsia again by Altenew. For the center of my flowers I added some crystal gems to add some sparkle and now I'm putting my card together by using foam squares at the back and the um, striped pattern paper is from the kit as well. And before I say goodbye, Ginger wanted to say hi, so this is the part where he realized that his monthly lollipop was in the house. Luckily he is not able to open it up, but he plays like crazy with it, dragging it all over the house. But enough with Ginger, let's take a quick look on all the four cards that I made for today using products from the Simon Says Stamp April Card Kit. And I made sure that I used the stickers, the pattern paper, the stamps, as well as the die. Make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment, because I have a giveaway running for this card kit. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget that if you like something specific, you can get it separately, and you will find all the links that you need down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.